friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name is Garrett. I'm Melissa. And we are the Leffersons, and today we have pins. And if you've been around for a little bit, you know that we amour <laughs> our pins. And you would yes. say, Garrett, why did you say amour? So this is an Enchanted Mysteries box, and if you're not sure what Enchanted Mysteries is, Karen over at Karen's USA Adventures will leave all of her information down below. She sends us these box for reviewing purposes, and she basically created a subscription service. I was gonna say Disney. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but it's, it's not so just much Disney. Exactly, it's so much more. We've got yes. Buckingham Palace. They have Disney, there's Harry Potter, oh, yeah. there's Disneyland Paris because she goes to the Disneyland Paris parks like once a month. And then she has like UK treats, UK tea. tea. Yep. All this stuff. All sorts of things, literally. We'll leave her information down below. Just go check out the website because there are literally so many different yeah. box options and subscription options. But this is a little small box, but good things come in small packages because there are pins in here. This is the Pins Day Patty box, and this is like the plus Patty. Pins Day Patty box. I think that's what it what it's actually called. Basically, there are at least eight. Eight? At least eight magical pins from Disneyland Paris. So the cool thing about these boxes is that they come from Disneyland Paris, which we in the United States do not have access to anything from Disneyland Paris or the UK for that matter. This is a very exciting box for us to get because it's all from Disneyland Paris. Pins are straight from Disneyland Paris, which we in the United States do not have access to. So it's really, really cool. We have opened this box once before and like we absolutely loved it, loved all all the pins. Also, this is to your preferences. Okay. Customized to your preferences. So we obviously gave her like, kind of like our pin collections, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. So yeah, enough talking. Let's get into this amazing little box. The little wrapper on the outside has this little shield with uh, Mickey's kissing the Eiffel Tower. I think she puts that on oh, like all Mickey the Mini. Disneyland Paris boxes. Cause she also does like a Disneyland Paris box, like just for like merch and stuff in general. That is also customized to your preferences, which we have also opened before. I'll leave the Enchanted Mysteries playlist down below. Okay, let's open this box. <laughs> So at the very top, and I think she does this for like almost all the stuff that she sends. All the Disneyland Paris boxes. Is the Disneyland Paris bag, mm -hmm. but it currently has stuff in top of it, in top of it, on top of it, <laughs> so I can't just rip it out. But sitting right on top of all the packing peanuts are some wonderful stickers from Enchanted Mysteries, along with a little note here it says, thank you for pur purchasing our September mystery box. We're a little behind. <laughs> she sent all of these in September. Oh. She sent like a few different boxes in September and we're opening them throughout the next few months. But there is a cute little uh, little note here. It says, bonjour. Thank you for purchasing our Disneyland Paris mystery box. We love being able to bring the magic of Disneyland Paris to your door, Karen and the team. Yay. Well, thank you, Karen and team, because you're crushing it. Okay, so there's also a lot of peanuts in here. So everything is very nicely packaged. Safe. I'm gonna just put them on the floor for now. And every single pin are in these like really beautiful little pouches. So I like that it's still like a mystery. You don't see the pins Everything right when you front. open it. Yeah. And here is the Disneyland Paris bag. Now that we got the bags off of the bag, <laughs> I can show you the bag. So here's the bag and there's the back of the bag. <laughs> Super there we go. Cute. All right, so I feel like there's probably a few different pins inside each bag. Let's start with the red pouch. Okay, lady's okay. choice. All right, do you want to pull out the first pin? No, you you get first dibs. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pull one out. Oh, I feel like you should have uh, pulled this one out. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just happy it's there. Okay, so we got a few of these pins from this collection mm -hmm. in our first mystery box from her. And I basically put in my preferences <laughs> that I wanted more because Any I feel more. like this is an amazing collection. So it is the Disney Princess Animators Collection. And this one is Belle. And these are big. We have similar mm -hmm. pins, but they're on the smaller side and they're kind of 3D-ish. Yeah, they were. those were from Shop Disney, mm -hmm. just like in the United States. But these are actually from Disneyland Paris. And they're a good size and uh, they're actually flat. But I love Belle. Mm, she reads. It's it's She's top 10. And it's Provincial Bell, it which is. we only really collect 
Belle if she's in her blue dress, because that's what Garrett likes the best. I got to see Provincial Belle at Disney World. <laughs> That'll be in our vlogs coming up soon. Hopefully we'll start our Disney World vlogs yes. next week. We just have to start editing them, yeah. which takes time. Yeah. But this is what the back looks like. It's just one pin back, and they all say Disneyland Paris on the back. We do already have a few of these princesses, so just adding more to the collection is always fun. Oh, I can't. I, I looked at that pin, and I'm not going to take that away from you. <laughs> You're not going to take nope, it away from nope, me? Nope, I'm going okay. to stuff it back in there because that is your joy to have. Okay, great. I am just as joyful with this. So, I love that we both opened up each other's favorite right? princesses. <laughs> so well, and she's one of mine too. Yeah, she's amazing. So this is a shared favorite of ours, and it is again from that animator's collection, and it is Rapunzel, and she is painting uh, the sun, and she's got the the tongue sticking. Adorable! Oh I can't. Gosh, I love I, and I Pascal. I not to be basic, but I can't. <laughs> I can't even. I right can't even. Look how adorable, and the backer card is on point. Oh, I'm They're so, so cute. They're so cute. So I think in our first box, we got Merida and Tiana. Mm -hmm. Look at them. So now we have those two. Look at those little Pascal. I know. It's so cute. So these are just open edition. Yes. Open edition pins, but you can pick them up at Disneyland Paris. You could not pick them up in the United States, which is why the subscription box is amazing. And these are huge. Okay. Ah. Should I open the one that you yes. said not to open? No, I didn't say not to open. I just said I, I mean, didn't want to open it. you didn't want to open it. No. Okay, this one looks bigger. It, it felt large. All right. And in me, charge. Let me get it out of the... Yup. Oh my gosh, yes. Yup. Yes! That's why I did it. Oh my goodness, yes! Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this so much! Open it! Okay. So this is a limited edition Oh, pin. I did not know that. This is a limited edition pin. Also put this on my preferences. And wow. this is a huge pin That's a too. a big pin. Okay, so Disneyland Paris came out with like a few different pins of the world's best friends. And this is like perfect to yep. have because it is Tiana and Charlotte and her little cat. The cat. Which is, it has a name. The cat. It does have a name. I know it has a name because there's a pin of Lottie with this cat and it has a name on the bottom I, of it. I spent a solid 30 minutes like Googling my heart out and I couldn't <laughs> find anything. We did look this up once because yes, we, have, we do have canon. a pin of this. Anyways, getting off topic. <laughs> it's Tiana and Lottie, which are literally like your the bestest friends ever. They are. I just love them so much. They are my absolute favorite, like, duo team, like, best friends for sure. And it does say world's best friends down there. It says Disneyland Paris on the back. There is a pin on pin element. That's a massive pin. It is a really, really big pin. Okay, so I'm always... Okay, so this is a cool thing mm -hmm. about Disneyland Paris limited edition pins. They don't do this in the United States, which is why I love their limited edition pins in Disneyland Paris. So this is... This actually gives you, like, the number that this pin is out of the entire, like, set of limited edition. So this is limited edition of 700. So there's only 700 of these oh, pins. Oh, wow. That's small. And this is number 264. That's kind of neat. <sighs> yeah, so also 700. Like, that's that's a very low edition size. For, for a Disney Parks pin. And look at how big it is. Uh, oh, my gosh. I love this. That I is, love it. That I is love a it centerpiece so pin. I can't believe I have this pin. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Karen. This is amazing. You want the backer card? Three for three so far. Like, three for three in pins that we absolutely love. Black or gold? Ah, uh, you choose. I chose the first one. Well, let's go with black. Don't look. Oh, it's from World's Best Friend. It's another World's Best Friend? Those are the two that I wanted. Whoa. Oh, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm not sorry. I'm not going to give her this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me uh, get this open here real quick. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is adorable. So, like Alyssa said, this is another of the world's best friends. And if you're like, you're, you're running through, you're like, Garrett, Alyssa, show us the pin. What could it be? Is it Baymax? Is it Pascal? Is it Pooh and Piglet? And you would be right. World's best friends. And I love that it has a little log and there's some bees rolling around. <laughs> and you just sounded like... Uh, <laughs> the bees made me 
made me happy. And it I just makes me happy. And I love how Piglet's like holding his snoot, like hello. Fam. They're having a moment. They are, it's and so cute. like Alyssa said, these are numbered, and this is three hundred fifty-one fun out of seven hundred. So oh I like it. Just whenever you have that number, it just feels more like limited and like unique, yes. original, uh, unique. unique. I think unique because like they can just run out pins but right. to stamp each one like it just feels that there's no other pin that says no, that out there that's I, that's what's cool that's the perfect example of it and yeah. there's this is unique to us and that's why i love the disneyland paris pins i wish the united states did that like i wish well disney world or disneyland did that but they don't and these are like beefy pins yeah like i yeah, was i was just feeling it and mm -hmm. i feel like the, the like pin thicker. metal i don't know what it's called yeah, it's I thicker. think it's like thicker. Or like, this is adorable. I'm so. I cannot uh, believe that we got both of them. I mean, I put them both in my preferences, like just like, just like whatever you want. But like, these are the ones that I really want, yes. and Karen pulled through. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love those. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Let's keep going. There's the, more. Now, don't forget, this box is available for purchase. Like, yes. you can get this. And if you're specific now, enough. I will say, though, you won't be able to get those limited edition pins anymore. But oh. she does try it because they've already, like, sold out. Oh, okay, yeah. Those were from, like, I think September. Yeah. Because we haven't opened this and we haven't opened the box. But she does go to the parks, like, once a month and does get the mystery, mm -hmm. the limited edition pins Message for her. these boxes. So like, if you put them in your preferences, you, you know that there's a limited edition pin coming out. You gotta put it in your preferences. Put it in your preferences. Okay. I'm pulling something else out. Do it. <laughs> this is cute. Oh my god. I've never gosh. seen this before. It's Pascal and he's sitting on the flower. What's what's the flower? Like a lotus? Like a lotus? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I don't the know what that one is. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know, but he's so cute. Look at him. That's a really cute pin. Fleur this is, Pascal. Is this is orange. Orange, in case if you're wondering. I know that there's like a price for orange in Disneyland Paris. Not sure what it is. Also, the princess pins were also orange, yep. the uh, animators collection. So, yay, this is a cute one. We have a big Rapunzel collection, so that'll go perfect. And the last pin from that black bag is... Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's from Le Arista Chats. The Arista Chats. The Arista Chats. Yeah. Why does it say the Arista Chats? I don't know. I don't know what cat is in French, but maybe that's it. But there it is. Is Marie standing on some uh, some sheet music there? And she is, is her bow always that big? Or am I just no, losing I think my she's mind? she's like, she got an extra big bow that she, day. She, that day. Yeah. Got an extra big bow. Extra big bow. <laughs> and so there is the back of it. And I love how all these pins have really distinct shapes. Yeah. Like I feel like, this is gonna sound weird, <laughs> stay with me. I feel like Disneyland Paris pins are more shapely. <laughs> shapely. Okay, just, yeah. Just. I feel like a lot of the pins we do have from Disney World are more like round or yeah, square. Yeah. Or rectangular. Whereas, whereas the French are more artistic. Whereas like look at this shape. Right? Look at that shape. Look at the shapes. They're shapely, <laughs> friends. <laughs> lots and lots of sides. <laughs> Let's count them. <laughs> We're One, talking about it and getting two. it right now. <laughs> I was just about to so, say, have you started your shapes oh, yet? Oh, yeah. We've already started the <laughs> shapes. We're talking about 3D shapes now. Oh, so, good cones. <laughs> yes. Spheres. Okay. The last bag that we have is the golden bag. And I've got the golden bag. I've got the golden ticket. Big. This pin has a multiple pin back. It I don't want to look at it until I open it. It has like six, three. Three, I don't want to hyperbolize. It's I don't like want to look at it until I open it. It might be a pin set, like two pins. Let me see. Oh, oh. my gosh, this is so cute. That is cute. Okay, this is adorable. I didn't know this existed. Well, Let you do now. Get it out of the little pin package here. Okay, so this <laughs> is... I love the like backer card and everything. Yes. It's an It's a Small World pin set. And it's Chip and Dale, which I totally collect Chip and Dale. But I think it's like from the UK or mm -hmm. like Great Britain or whatever, because it's definitely like there's a Great Britain flag right there. And you have Chip and Dale and they're dressed up like uh, 
the guards. Like the guards. Well, this one is dressed up like the guard. This one's just like they waving the flag. He's, I, he's I guess he's still, away yeah, he's still dressed up like the guard. And then you have like the little character from the actual It's a Small World ride. And the backer card is adorable. Like how cute is this? So it's a two different pin sets. So this is an adorable pin set. Love it. It says Disneyland Paris on the back. There's a little rose or pink. And yeah. It's rosé. Rosé, sorry. It's French. Rosé. Oh my god. Yes. So I finally did I finally did open one Yay. for me. So this is my girl Belle. Aww. And she is provincial as always reading her book and the backer card it says in French. Get ready. Going to butcher it. It says Belle et la bête. Bête? I, I read a lot of Spanish through my day, so I put Spanish yeah, vowels sure. and everything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So I, I need all my French Canadians to help me out. But <laughs> this is orange pricing, um, and I like that the back of it's gold. This yeah, is our that's first um, gold-based pin, I guess you could and say. That's, and she's reading a book. And that's she so is. That's going to go perfect in your Provincial Bell pin collection. And if you can see, her mouth is kind of open, like she's like, ah, this is <laughs> She's like singing or or reading. She it, it looks like she's she's reading to the goats oh, or okay. to the sheep. <laughs> or singing to the goats and sheep. Okay. Our final pin. See? Our final pin. Yeah. Our final pin. Yeah. <laughs> this is also super cute. That is cute. Also from the same I think they're from the same set. Correct. So this is little chip. We and don't have any chip. We actually Do we have it? I don't think we have any chip. Mm. I don't think we have any of just Chip. We might but, have one with Mrs. Potts and Chip. But look how we cute don't have, it is. Like, I love that he's blowing the bubbles. <laughs> I always so liked cute. Chip growing up. Yes. He's like the cutest character in mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast. I think he's my favorite character in Beauty and the Beast. And I love how just positive he is. Like everybody else is like trying to keep things normal. And Chip's just like, okay. And just bebopping around and blowing bubbles. This is such a cute pin. I absolutely love that. Aw. So this box does include at least eight pins. Mm -hmm. I think the first time we got this box, we got maybe like 12 pins. Okay. Whoa. But they were all open edition. Mm. This time we got two, not just one, but two limited edition pins. And they obviously cost more than an open 15. edition pin. And like she had to go through like a lottery for these and yeah. stuff too. So this time we got nine pins, which isn't as many, but like totally worth it because we got some limited edition pins in there. I mean like technically 10 if you count the pin set. But oh um, yeah, that's true. I forgot about the, yeah, the pin set. Oh my gosh, but like, so like a, I love these boxes yeah. every time we open them. Like Belle and Beast and all that is really popular in France. And that's something to think about. Like we've gotten pins from Japan where like Baymax is huge yeah. and Lotso apparently is big over there, which yeah. is insane. And like Duffy and Friends and but, things like but that. But you can get really unique, cool mm -hmm. pins of some of your favorite characters if they are popular in that market. So yes. a little bit of, so where do you find like what pins are out in the parks that across the world? I follow like some different like Facebook and Instagrams that post like the pins that are coming out. Ooh. Like Disney Pins Blog mm. posts all the pins that are coming out for Disneyland Paris. He does it for all the parks. Okay. But then like Karen also at her page, she will post about pins as well. So like, I feel like if you go either on Instagram or on her Facebook group, you'll find information about different pins that are there. But honestly, like if you don't go to Disneyland Paris, I don't think that you would probably have access to any of these pins. <laughs> no. So I think if you just put in your preferences, like the characters that you like, she's probably gonna be able to find them and they're probably gonna be pins that you don't have. Like we have never, we haven't gotten any pins that we've had so far because we are not able to get to Disneyland Paris in the park. So that's, I feel like why this is like so worth it. If you're a pin person, for sure. This is so fun. So this box is 99 pounds. It costs 99 pounds. It doesn't weigh that. And <laughs> you get all these pins. So it's just like a wonderful uh, return on investment, I guess you could say. Yeah. And it's just something, a, a little treat for yourself. And the season's coming up, so maybe this could be a little gift to someone if you're yeah. thinking of it. So go check out Enchanted Mysteries, not only for this amazing pin box, but for all the other ones. And like Alyssa said, we'll leave the playlist linked down below where we open a bunch of other boxes. And mm -hmm. 
Again, thank you to Karen over thank at Karen so USA's much. Adventure. She's got the YouTubes. Go check her out. Karen's just a wonderful person who has a wonderful voice. I want her to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> okay? Okay? She always said this. She always sends us like voice messages and we just love listening to her voice. She's just like so soothing, but also like so sweet. She's like she's just the sweetest person. So go show your support. Go mm -hmm. check out Enchanted Mysteries, especially if you like Disneyland Paris and want to get Disneyland Paris boxes or UK themed boxes. Literally any of these boxes are going to be unique items that you will not be able to get in the United States. Nope. Or, and this is also worldwide, if you guys are living in Australia and want an Enchanted Mysteries box, you can make it happen. If you're living in Canada, we can make it happen. We can all do this together, okay? We'll all come together around the world. <laughs> You get Enchanted Mysteries. No, but thank you so much, Karen. This was amazing. Again, another amazing box. We have another one to open probably next week or the week after. We have a marble box. Marvel? Yeah. She does it all, you guys. She does, it, does all. it all. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite pin was because there were so many amazing ones. Right. And also subscribe for more Disney content. And follow us on all the socials. Instagram. At the Leffersons. Don't forget. We've got Facebook. We've got TikTok. We've got all the things. It's all the Leffersons. Go follow us. It'll all be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Au revoir. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but. Au revoir. Au